It's time to complete Lesson 1, Chapter 3, Working with Documents. Click Learn and click Continue. Step number one says create a new blank document. So on my Word screen, I'm going to go to File, New, Blank. Mark as answered and click Next. We are now going to practice finding a template. So click on the File tab and click New. In the search field, type Agendas and press Enter. Notice how in addition to displaying a variety of agenda templates, Word displays an additional list at the right where you can narrow the search. In this category list, click Business. Here's Business. In the category list, click Agendas. Okay. And in the category list, click Attendance. So I'm going to find Attendance. Oh. Here it is. Now there are only three items showing. Let's say at this point you realize that you don't want the agendas category and want to return to the previous screen. In this case, all you need to do is remove the search criteria from the category list. So we decided we don't want this agendas category anymore. So point the mouse cursor to the right of the agendas category to display a close button. So find the Agendas category, put your mouse cursor over it, and you'll notice an X. This is the Close button. Click the Close button to remove just the Agendas. Next, click the Agenda template. Now please be careful because there are three templates in here, all with the word Agenda. You want the one that's titled Agenda Only. Click it once, and then click Create. Mark as answered, and click Next. In most cases, when you create a new document using a template, the template includes some areas called fields that have been set up to assist you with what information to enter in that location. For instance, in the example we show here, the text meeting title is a field that has been set up to allow you to enter whatever you want to appear in the final agenda. Click in the meeting title box and type Soccer Coach Pee Wee League. Now it's incredibly important that you type the text exactly as it shows in the instruction panel, including correct capitals and punctuation. Okay, let's make sure I have my capitals capital S, capital C, capital P, capital W, capital L. Mark as answered and click Next. But of course, press pause if you need more time to enter this on your own screen. Next, we're going to close the document without saving changes. Now, I can't see my close X, so I'm going to scoot my word over. There it is. I'm going to mark X to close it. And it asks me if I want to save, or it tells me it will not save. And that's correct, because the directions say without saving. So click Yes mark as answered and click show results click yes to continue great you have now completed lesson one chapter three working with documents